Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here for Six Frame Finger Picking. Today we're learning how to play a finger style arrangement of Creep by Radiohead. Hope you enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like the full lesson and the guitar tab, that's available down below. Let's get right into the lesson. Okay, so let's get into it. So the chords for this one throughout the whole song are just G, and then it goes to B, and then it's going to go to a C, and then C minor. Okay, so it's two bars of each, and that's the whole song, just round and round and round. So let's learn the intro. Okay, so, of course, we started on a G chord. Just hold down the third fret on the sixth string to start. Play that, and then play strings four, three, and then four, three, two, so. Okay, then play the third string, and then you're gonna play the third fret on the second string with the sixth string, followed by open second string, and then third string, and then second string. So that bit is. And then open third string, and then third fret on the second string again. So the second bar there, we just played. Okay, so all together. And then it goes to B. So I'm playing it like this. So it's just a regular B bar chord. Okay, of course you can play it like this if you want to. But anyway, hold down your B chord, play the fifth string, the fourth, and then two and three together. And then strings four, three, two. So one and two and three and. Then you're gonna play the third string again. Okay. And then you're gonna make it a sus. So from here, just take the fourth fret on the second string up to the fifth fret on the second string. Play that with the bass. Then play strings four, three, and then back to the fourth fret on the second string. Play that. Okay, so just like that. And then play strings five, four, three and two together, and then four. So that B, that second half of the B there from the sus you've played. So that B all together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so far. Okay, then just a regular C chord. This bit's nice and straightforward. Hold that down, play strings five, three, one, and then three, two, one, so. Okay, then the second string. And then you're gonna flatten down and play the first fret on the first string with the bass, and then third string, second string, and then open first string. So that's like, okay, and then to finish the C here, just play strings two, one, two. Okay, so the second half of that C is. Okay, so all of the C together. It's like that. Okay, then it's just a C minor. Hold that down, play strings five, two, three, four, two, three, four, three. Okay, so. And then that note ties over to the next bar and then you play 
again strings two three four so that part from the start of that c minor you've got one and two and three and four and one and two and okay like that and that's your intro so from the start you have played And that, of course, goes into the verse. And the first few bars of this section go, When you hear bell bell, you're looking in the eye. Skin makes me cry. Okay, so as we know, it's the same chord progression just going round and round. So to start off with there, what I was doing... On the third string, I play open, hammer two, and then pull off. And then I play the fourth fret on the fourth string, and then open third string. So. When you hear before. That goes to our G, so hold down your bass note of your G, play that, and then strings four, three, four, three, two, and then three. Okay, when you hear before. Then we make it a sus4, so bring in that first fret, the first fret on the second string, play that with the bass, then play strings four, three, and open two. Okay. And then we got. So there I'm playing open third string, quickly hammering the second fret, then pulling off to open, then playing that open again, and again. play the fourth fret on the fourth string so that's the look you in the eye okay so that g or going into the g at least when you hear the like that okay then that's going to a b7 so play b7 like this we played that fourth fret on the fourth string, that ties over, and then we play strings five, four, two, three, four, two. So. Then the third string, and then the fourth fret on the second string goes up to the fifth fret. So making it a B7 sus. Okay. Play the second string fifth fret with the bass. Then strings three, four, and that fifth fret goes back to the fourth fret. So like. Okay. And then on the third string, we play two, open, and then fourth fret on the fourth string, open third string. So that B7 there is. And one and two and three and four and. So far. that goes to C, hold down C chord, play strings five, four, two, three, four, two, and then three, okay, and continuing after that, with strings five, two, three, four, so so far, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and, and then So that there, the skin makes me, skin makes me cry. That's the lyric. Uh, open hammer to two on the third string, and then open third, fourth fret on the fourth string, and open third again. And then it's going to C minor. 
Okay, so for the C minor, it's just a regular C, but this second fret on the third string goes down to, sorry, second fret on the fourth string goes down to the first fret, and we just flip those fingers around. Okay, I'm sure you know how to play this shape anyway, but just in case you don't, that's how you play this C minor. So we've played, then hold down that chord, play the fifth string, and then strings four, two, three, four, two, so. And then a three, and then back to five, and then four. Okay, so that's what's going on there. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two. Okay, and then open third string, and then open hammer to two on the third string, open third string again, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then open third string again. So from the C minor, okay, then it goes through um, the progression again, but the melody, melody is different. So you, so far from the start of the verse, you have played, Continuing Okay, so let's break it down. So we've gone And then as I say, it's to G. So just play the bass note of your G then you're going to play the open fourth string, and then you're going to pull off five to two on the fifth string. Okay? That's what's going on there. Then play strings four, three. Make it the sus again on your G, so add in the first fret on the second string, play that with, play that with the bass. And then strings three, four, open two. Okay, and then on the third string, open hammer to two. And then open, open. And then we're going to our B7. Play the fourth string, fourth fret, of course. And then strings five, four, two, three, four, two. And then third string again. Back up to our sus, just like before, strings two and five. And then three, four. And then back to the fourth fret on the second string. So. Third string, second fret twice, and then open. And then I slide two to three on the third string. Hold down your C chord, play strings five, open third string this time, and then the fourth string. And then just strings five, two, four, three, and then five, two, four. Okay, so we've gone. And then it's open, third string twice, then second fret, then open again. And then again, we slide two to three on the third string, like that. And then it's to our C minor chord like this. And I'll just play strings five, three, four, and then five, two, four, three, five. Okay, so there, from the C, transitioning into it, you've gone. And that then goes into the chorus. So this second half of the verse, you have played. the chorus. 
Lewis. So that's the chorus. So much fun to play. It really does sound very nice played as finger style. So that little run getting into it, the melody is open third string twice, but um, and then two start to four on the third string, and then open second string. But I'm a creep. Okay, that goes to our G. Just hold down the bass note. Bass string six, four, three, four, three, two, and then open third. And it's our sus again, so we bring that in, first fret on the second string, play that with the bass, and then strings four, three, open two, okay. Okay, and then, so there, again, it's just open third string, and then two slides to four, and then open second string that and then I play so we played the open second string it's going to our B chord I just play the fourth fret on the fourth string and then I play the bass note the root note so the fifth string second fret and then I flip to this and there I pull off two to one on the fourth string and then I hold down a B7 like this okay so and B7 and, I'm, and play strings five, four, three, two. So that's like. Okay, then strings five, four, and then what the hell am I doing? So there, that's open second string twice, followed by the first fret on the second string. And then open second string twice again. And then second fret on the third string. What the hell am I doing? So that's quite tricky, but you've gone. And then just hold down a C major seven chord. Okay, play strings two and five. Then four, three, five, four, three, and then four, five, four, three, four. Okay, so so one and two and three and four and one and two and and then. So that's just on the third string, open, and then two pull off to open, so. And then two slide to three. All on the third string. And then it's our C minor again. And all I do here is play strings five, three, four. So one and two. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the third fret on the second string and play strings five, four, three, two. Okay, so. That's then going into the um, into the into the bridge. So once we played that third fret, after that I'll just play the first fret on the second string, and then again third fret, and then first fret all on the second string. Pull off to open, and then play the third string. So okay. Oh. That's what he's kind of singing there. So that's the chorus. Here it is again.
So that's where we're going to leave it for this lesson. If you want to learn how to play the rest of the song, so that... And all of that, I'm going to be teaching it over on my website. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just follow the link down in the description and you're going to get the rest of the lesson right away, completely for free. All right, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixpinfingerpicking.com where there are hundreds more lessons all on finger picking for the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced player. So check it out. Links all down in the description. But that's it for now. Thanks so much. I'll see you again.